Stop it, you can stop to your daddy getting divorced. This is Davina and I'm gonna be reacting to some of my I can't feel kind of embarrassed saying this, but iconic moments. Oh god, so, this hilarious. So Sam, who I was interviewing, had spent her whole time in the Big Brother house in a bikini and we thought, what could we do that would be quite funny? And then me and the producer, on our own, right. said, let's not tell anyone. Mm. Let's not tell the floor manager, let's not tell the cameramen, mm. let's not tell the director, no one. Yeah. And let's go and put a bikini on and a coat yeah. and then in the ad break, Ch change into the coat and then come back out, go and get her from the house. And the floor manager noticed that I'd changed into a kind of trench coat dress, but I didn't say anything. Yeah. And I went to do the interview and I said, um, I started the interview and I went, Sam, I'm a, I'm a bit hot actually. And I stood up and I took off my coat and the cameraman who was filming me went like that from behind <laughs> his camera in case like there was something wrong with his camera. He was like, yeah. Oh my God. And it was all good. And I did the interview and I was interviewing her and everything. And I, I felt quite confident. Yeah. And then I've forgotten that I had to stand up at the end of the interview and everybody was in a circle around me underneath, <laughs> staring up my ass like, as a, and at my vagina from the front. Uh, it was vagina level. And I had my cards here, like over my for JJ, thinking, oh, this is quite like brutal. Trying to just do the end piece of the camera as quickly as possible. Oh, yes. These are so hey. good. The, these are one. so good. Do you I mean, one? this was very funny when this started because I got sent this by my daughter. Really? And she went, oh my God, you're a meme. And then it was just the meme that kept on giving, wasn't it? Because we went into lockdown and every time there was another lockdown or we were told to have another rule or yeah. another regulation or you couldn't, we, finally we were let you know, into pubs and bars and it was like fancy another one. It was just amazing. <laughs> we, were, we were doing a live show, we were doing a Big Brother and the most exciting one was where we didn't tell the audience or the viewers or the a thousand people that were watching live with us on the night that there were going to be two evictions and people would, all, I've got goosebumps, people would always be so excited about a double eviction yeah. and I'd just like, I'd sort of leave it for a bit and I'd, I wouldn't say anything for a while and then I'd just go, fancy another one and everybody go absolutely mad and I could just imagine everybody at home and everybody in the audience, it was so Good. Oh my God, I look like her bouncer, I can't bear it. This is iconic. But, uh, but the other quite funny thing, I would wear that outfit. Oh my God, the dancing. No, stop. <laughs> she said she was looking for a director for a video and one of the people um, she'd asked had blown her out and I said, look, if I find you a director, can I be in it? <laughs> she was like, yeah, of course you can. So, uh, but what was quite funny was she's so petite and like just perfect I literally ended up looking like her bouncer I'm walking next to her I look absolutely enormous they're all here for you do you know what's amazing about Alison when you think she actually came out quite early really in the scheme of it in the series and she's probably the biggest winner in terms of her and Josie Gibson in terms of a public life are the the biggest winners of Big Brother it's really interesting that, isn't it? But I think there's something about Alison. She's so funny and self-effacing, but when she wants to go deep, it's actually incredibly moving. I think because she's so funny. I feel like that a bit about John Bishop. You know, when he does his interviews, they're amazing because you think, oh, you're so funny, but look at this side of you, wow. And I think Alison has that. And it's funny how clear it is in my memory. That was quite an early series. Yeah. I, I watched every single episode of Big Brother. I never missed an episode. I made sure if I went abroad, I could access the show. I would call the series producers, the day producers, like every day. I was obsessed. What about if I give 50 quid to Comic Relief? Yeah. Can I kiss you? <laughs> what do you reckon? He was amazing, David Tennant, as a presenter. I'd have done he it was for a fiver. Um, he was, oh, Jesus, it went on for ages. You know what was really funny about that was, um, firstly, um, 
as a co-host. Mm -hmm. He was an actor. He is an actor. He's an amazing actor. But I, I had never seen him present anything before. He was one of the best. It was the best double header I've ever done mm -hmm. in terms of co-hosting with somebody. Him and John Bishop were the easiest, greatest people to co-host with. Mm -hmm. So funny, so brilliant, mm -hmm. so good with the crowd, amazing. And, and the kiss was hilarious and it went on for ages and he really went with it and it was so funny. My boyfriend's over there going, what kiss, what, eh? <laughs> um, anyway, I woke up in the morning with my daughter standing next to my bed, sobbing, um, going, Mummy, you kissed Doctor Who and your daddy <laughs> getting divorced. And she's really crying. And I was like, what? She went, you kissed Doctor Who and it went on for ages. I was like, oh my God, no. And then I had to show her what the kiss was like on the back of her hand and said, it's a TV kiss, it's a fake. And I went into her bedroom to make her bed in the morning and I looked and there was a mountain of tissues by the side of her bed. She'd cried all night. Yes. <laughs> I love oh! this. Oh, so, yeah. I love this. Six. Swinging his hips. Oh my God, I love this. Okay. First thing first, yeah. how I became fitness lady. Mm. So I picked up a lady from a bus stop once and she looked at me and she went, oh, you know, hi, blah, blah, blah. And she said, I feel like I know you from somewhere. Oh. And I always, I never want to go, no, I'm on the telly. Because yeah. um, you just think, oh, what? Well, I don't want to be that not. person. <laughs> um, and so I just was like, oh, really? Like, and she went, you're the exercise lady. And I thought that's so funny. I've done Big Brother, I've done Don't Try This At Home, I've done like huge TV programs, but to her, I was the exercise lady. Nice looking at clips from back in the day because um, I've had the best, best time in my career. Like I've just enjoyed it so much, yeah. all of it. Even the turkeys, you know, I've just, I've just been so lucky. Yeah really to do something that I love doing. Um, so could you come back and do this with me every week? Yeah, and then, I, bits, yeah, yeah, just send me some clips every week and we can pretend I'm reacting, you can pretend I'm going on BuzzFeed, but it'll yeah. just top up the gratitude. Yeah.